Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Showed up my house this morning with a bunch of new packages. We got a new hat right here, pretty stoked on it. Made this logo myself, decided to make one in camo. Coming to a store near you. Anyways, we got back. Hello. What the hell, dude? You left me stranded. Don't start with that. You left me stranded, man. This thing kicked my ass. Well, I'm sorry. I was watching your story, you're playing golf, drinking mimosas, having a good I didn't time. Drink mimosas, but yeah. <laughs> but anyways, glad to have you back. But we got these LRB door cards. Um, if you guys remember, I ordered them when we got this car back um, from the fabricator when he did the cage. We found out the hard way that we weren't going to be able to fit um, our stock door panels. So I ended up with these LRB ones now. I mean, it looks pretty self-explanatory. Will already has this all set up. We're going to try to mock it up into the car. I'm thinking we're just going to spray paint them black. At first, I wanted to spray paint them the same color as the roll cage. But the more I thought about it, it's like the dash is black, the carpet's black, like everything else is black. And I think it would just look better to match like the trim panels instead of matching this. What do you think? Black or the gray? I just think the gray will be too much. Like I think it will flow with the the black because we have all of that trim back there. You got black handles. Exactly, you know we got black handles. Or are you saying the other way? I'm saying gray because you have black handles. We're going black. Well, yeah, I, I originally thought we were going to... Look what you're wearing. It's your favorite freaking color. That's Connecticut, Florida. What, black? Yeah, I didn't wear a single ounce of black in Florida. Did you not? Were you all fruity or what? I wouldn't say fruity, but... You were wearing some... You were then. wearing your Uggs and some Flor Floridian flannel shirts. Floridian flannel? Like the, f the flamingo stuff. I don't no, know, like the beach like, vibe no, stuff. No, but like, yeah, definitely... Not black. <laughs> <laughs> so you're depressed in Connecticut then? No, it's just Connecticut vibes. All black. Yeah. We got all black. Shit, I'm wearing all black too. Oh, Literally. Black. <laughs> Everyone in here's got black. I think just our whole friend group wears black. Yeah. Even Adam, Jimmy, all of them wear black. Yep. Maybe we're just soulless assholes. But anyways, we're going to mock up um, the first panel in the car. We're actually doing a huge upgrade to the channel today. So, um... It's just a little nervous. I'm talking to Mike right now and we're gonna pull the trigger soon, but let's get one of these door cards in. Man, I was so excited to see Will and this dude's all grumpy. Why am I grumpy? No, this guy. Oh, I'm not grumpy. He is grumpy. Will's <laughs> pissed right now. No. You just took an extra step and I was just wondering why. Yeah, and then he didn't believe me as to why I said I knew I took an see, extra it, step. That's grumpy. He, like, he's back talking right now. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't believe me. I still don't, really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the door cards are going, how would you say they're going? I don't know, fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're annoying. I accidentally... Instruct no, it's just the instructions. You don't like the instructions? At least they gave you instructions. Some companies don't even give you those. Yes, yeah. You know? But um, I accidentally broke my lock switch. I only have unlock now. I pulled apart the whole motherboard and this white T bracket went flying. I can't find it anywhere. But realistically, the passenger really shouldn't be locking your door, so. I did that on purpose. All right, so I'm actually gonna run out real fast. Will's gonna finish this. I'm going to pick up the special thing for the channel. I hope you guys appreciate this. Spending a ton of money on it. Couple people complain about the GoPro and me and Will talked about it. It's time for an upgrade. So check this out. I am so freaking excited right now. Like I don't even know how to express it, but it's been a long time coming. We've been using the GoPro for a long time now. Last time I had a nice camera was probably, I don't know, two years now and I just didn't have the axle dental coverage and like I never wanted this, I haven't wanted to spend all of this money, but it's time that we upgrade the channel a little bit. Now check it out. We ended up going with a Sony A7C full frame camera. Super, super sick camera. We ended up getting this 12 to 24 millimeter Sony lens. Um, we got this, what is this, Joby? Joby fucking stick. This is the ultimate YouTuber stick right here. And we ended up getting a Rode mic because we don't want that wind mic. I got two new SD cards and oh my God, dude. I've been, I've been wanting a camera. It's just literally, this is like a $4,000 setup and it's just like, ah. But I will say this, 
Best Buy, they just came out with a sick warranty, an accidental warranty, what's it called? True Tech, literally $200 a year in every single thing that you buy has their accidental coverage. So I can accidentally drop this thing. Oh crap, it doesn't work. Bring it to Best Buy, get a new one. When really I pay for their coverage anyways and it's usually like $230 for four years. But the cool thing about paying the 200, this sounds like an ad, but I'm just excited about it because I always get these coverages. You spend $200 a year, you can buy a MacBook, it's fully covered. You can buy a gaming computer, it's fully covered. You can buy anything, GoPros, whatever, and it can accidentally fall off a cliff and you're covered. So I think that's sick because I am fucking accident prone. Like, look at my phone. Not even fucking exaggerating here. This thing is completely wrecked. I had this thing for. I think a month and a half at this point. I actually just got my accidental coverage. My new phone's gonna be here tomorrow. Such a nightmare, but for someone like me that's accident prone, thank you Best Buy. I'm fucking stoked, dude. I'm so stoked. Next shot is gonna be with the new camera. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. It's just so expensive and we finally just pulled the trigger. All right, let's get to the shop. How do we look, dude? We look amazing. We look professional. Professional. <laughs> Show us what we got, dude. You have to think about it for a second. Did you forget what we got? No. Look at these door cards, baby. Wow, Sick. they look so much better. I'm happy we went with the matte black. Yeah. He did that pretty fast, huh? Really fast. You dropped them off last night, and now it's around noon, and we got them back. I'm going to be And sick. delivered. And cheap. And cheap. Wasn't bad. I paid 60 bucks for both of these and he delivered them uh, literally less than 12 hours later. So, um, like I said before, Will mocked up um, the door cards and they fit properly. So, instead of just leaving them in there, we decided to take them out and we're just going to mount them and get that Z done. I'm stoked. I've been waiting on these door cards. They're going to look sick. They're going to look sick as fuck. Sick as fuck. Sick as fuck. All right, let's do it. Oh, I'm not even gonna lie right now. I'm super bummed. So you can see this LRB door card. It is sick. It looks really good. Super happy we went with the matte black finish. But the problem is <laughs> when you went to go test fit them, you, you didn't put the window switches or in, in or anything. And look, ready? <laughs> Damn it, dude. So. The cool thing, I guess it's not cool, but the window switches literally slide over the cage by one cut hair. Probably one, right? I think it'll touch. Oh, you think it's gonna touch? So not even a strain of hair? No, I think it'll touch. But it, it'll get by? Yeah. The problem is the, the mirror adjuster, it's just completely in the way and it's just gonna hit the cage every time. So now we just gotta figure out how we're just gonna move this. It sucks because like the, the LRB door card, like their, their holes, where's the other door card? Their door cards are like so precise that once you push, once you push this in, it literally locks itself in place. And that's like what actually holds this piece to the door card. You can see there's like little notches right there yeah, you can see that and um at first i was thinking like let's just bore out the hole up just so we can just move the switch up a little bit but then it won't sit there so we got to figure out a method and figure out how we're going to do that <sighs> let's try to get this one in just because that at least this one will be done i'm pretty sure this should clear it should it should so we're going to do that 
try to get this one complete so we can at least get one side complete and then we'll go back to the problem and go from there. All right, testing out this auto exposure right now. You think we're bright enough? I look pretty bright. Dude, I love this camera. This is crazy, dude. The graphics on this puppy. Dude, it's like a new video game. The graphics! Yeah, dude. dude, I got a fucking 3080 Super. I think that's the new, the newest best. I think so, I don't know. But look at this, door card. Passenger side is done, everything is good. Window switch doesn't hit at all. This side went, honestly, perfectly, flawlessly. Everything is good. The other side has been a fucking nightmare because um, at first, this hit so what we did was we just unbolted it here and um we're i just ordered some velcro off amazon we're just gonna velcro it to like right there so it doesn't hit the roll cage anymore but sadly no matter what um the door card actually hits roll cage just a tiny bit like you can still shut the door but you can see it's got a little flex right there because the door card is hitting a little over here and a little um underneath um, the window switch right here and it also hits this bolt on the bottom So we tried to grind it out and then we realized that the whole door card was Actually um, hitting the cage. I mean it sucks, but the door it shuts you got to slam it a little hard Which is annoying and when you open it, it's like Kind of forces open, but I mean it's better than I guess you don't have to slam it that hard. Is this just annoys me how there's so much tension on it? You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bot hurt. Tesla. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too picky. But Dude, you're gonna thrash this thing. I've been thrashing. Nobody's this thing. gonna care about the door. Call. I don't know. People are mad at me that my hydro is hitting my shifter a little bit. So when I did the hydro setup. Yeah, so when I pull the hydro and it's in second gear, it rattles the tiniest bit. When I set up, it will just do it again. <laughs> when I set the hydro up, um, it was for a stock shifter. Like, I shifted through all the gears and I was pulling the hydro and it was good. But since the cooler works is such a short throw, um, the second gear doesn't go back as far anymore. So it, it hits it slightly. I read a comment, someone's like, yo, you're gonna blow your transmission. Doesn't even make any fucking sense. Don't say things like that. And the reason why you hear it so much is because it's chassis mounted. So it's directly bolted to the chassis. So the vibrations and the noises are a little more than your normal shifter. I don't give a fuck. I love the way it shifts. I love pulling the hydro. I don't give a fuck that it hits. Sue me over it. Can you even hear it when you're driving? You can barely hear it when you're driving, like barely. And especially with a helmet and like, dude, I'm drifting. I'm not paying attention to like, oh my God, my shifter is Exactly, dude, you're just fucking raging it. It's not a big deal at all, but big shout out to my um, best friend Tom over on the other side here. So this is my front spat for the GTR, GDR. Right, right there. She just goes like that. I'm not just gonna start rubbing it and scratching the paint, but I need to get this paint matched. Um, I don't know what happened to mine, dude. I guess I lost it. I think that's crazy to even say, but I guess I freaking lost it. So we got that. A lot of people have been asking about the GTR. Finally ordered the axle boots from Terra Firma. I don't know why I've been waiting so long. I just did. The couplers still have, haven't come in, but the axle boot, the axles are right there. Boots should be here next week. So um, if the couplers aren't here, we're just gonna throw the blue ones on. I really want to, I guess I don't wanna drive it right now because of the salty roads, but I wanna start it, I wanna get it tuned and you know, start to do GTR things because this thing's just been sitting. That's a dangerous move in front of that car. That was dangerous. Wait, did this way. Well, that was, that was, that was a bad one. <laughs> Dude, that's like, what if you weren't there? It's gonna fly into the GTR. Well, I was there. Okay, anyways, um, give you a little GTR update. Dude, what's going down with the E30? Big things? Dude. Big. Major transformation. Yeah, we spent all day on Tuesday 
just going through every single thing that we needed for that car. If you guys wanna know more in depth, I just made a video on the Patreon, you can join. If not, that's all cool. Um, comp starting hopefully next week, E30, and we're gonna start tearing that thing apart. Right now, we just got a little bit of dead time, just kind of going over the 370, kind of making sure everything is good. I guess I'm gonna do another oil change as well, because I just drove 1,200 miles home, I went drifting, and it's probably just time to do that. But door cards, they came out good. That's annoying. We just gotta get the Velcro. And it's annoying that they LRB made this all nice and stuff, but my roll cage just slightly gets in the way. But it is what it is. Can't really complain too much. It's a drift car, and this thing will be totaled. Not soon, but soon-ish. Oh, and to give you guys a little update, remember I said that I broke this? Will found the little tab, and then I put it back together, so. I guess my passenger can lock the door after all. But like I said, right now we have a little downtime, so we've really just been doing a lot of preparation for the next coming weeks and stuff. And the E30 build, it's truly gonna be sick. We're really taking it to another level and I'm really excited for it. But what, what? You don't like my boot? Why do you have these? Those are my boots. I just bought them. Yeah, why did you need them down there? Um, No, we left when it was like snowing and I was wearing them. Uh. It's, it's crazy coming from me, huh? Those, they're a little squished. They look Are they not... warm? Yeah, I like them. Like they're pretty cool. Yeah. Isn't it like crazy that I wear those though? Like me, knowing me. Like me, knowing me. <laughs> like me. Um, yeah. They're different. I decided to get a little fruity. But it's weird, dude. They look like Vans almost. I think they're sick. I kind of oh. want a pair. They're, they weren't that bad. I think they're like a hundred bucks. And for like boots, like that's cheap. Yeah, no, I like them because like I hate wearing boots. So if yeah. I could just wear this. To be yeah. honest, my ankle feels ten times better with those. I think yeah, I have to start wearing. Nice, no, I know. You have to go back to the three quarter cuts. Yeah, I think I just need to start wearing high tops, but I just feel like. Ugh. No, three quarter cut. That's this. Oh, that's a three quarter. That's not a high top. I don't think no, because the high tops is like. I was thinking shoe though, like yeah, that. Would yeah, 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 like the three quarter cut. Yeah, like you the know, half cabs. Yeah, like the Vans half yes, cabs. That's a three quarter cut. Yeah, I and think, then they have the skate highs, which is the ugh, high. Top. I hate high tops. Yeah, me but, too. <laughs> that was my boots. I Got like them. them. Thank you, pretty man. cool. Nice color. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's hard to like match with it though. Yeah, but they're boots. But I wear black, so it's not too big of a deal. Why is this one so heavy? What's oh, going on here? I, I was. <laughs> If you guys like, <laughs> I'm smuggling, dude. <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Let me know what you guys think about the new camera quality. I'm noticing that the mic is really sensitive. It's really loud. If it's a problem, throw it down in the comments and I'll adjust it next video. I don't think it's going to be, but thank you guys for watching. Stoked on the new camera setup. It just kind of makes me want to be more cinematic and stuff. I know it's a little shaky right now and I know the glamour, the B-roll isn't the best, but I think I'm gonna get a gimbal. I actually bought a gimbal and it's um, too weak for this lens because this lens is like four pounds. So I need a better gimbal. So uh, maybe we'll get that tomorrow. I don't know yet. See ya.